Yeah, boy. Lost skate spots. What is up guys, this week on Lost Skate Spots, episode two, we're gonna be doing a spot that I think a lot of you guys are really familiar with. It's called the Garland Nine High School uh, Rail. Hmm. Well, anyways, it's called the Garland Nine High School Rail or whatever you wanna call it, the Garland Nine Rail. I am about to show you some old footage, but real quick, I just wanted to briefly apologize for only having one clip of the Garland Nine of myself. But that's okay because what I'm gonna do this time is I kind of reached out to some of my friends who may have some Garland 9 footage of themselves and I'm gonna throw that in here. I'd love to do this on future episodes as well. Um, so I might reach out to some of you guys and see if you have some old footage from some of these uh, older spots. Uh, but unfortunately, a lot of my older footage and uh, my close friends older footage on the Garland 9 is all lost on this thing. And also uh, the many, many, uh, Hi tapes that I have uh, that I am still trying to go through and I actually ordered a uh, uh, some cords to rip all that stuff off but uh, it has not come yet because Amazon is running a little slow that makes sense with what's going on let's get to the clips real quick So as you can see from just those clips, uh, you can tell that stair set, and I'm not speaking about myself, other people have murdered that stair set. The handrail has been killed. And ironically, I'm talking about the stair set's rail, but my only clip was just going down the stair set and not touching the rail. In fact, I've only skated that rail and done one trick on it, and that's just board slide. And I've done that on three different occasions. Uh, the first two occasions uh, ended up really well. I landed it and rolled away. That was awesome. The third time, I tried to skate it at nighttime. And if you were ever there at nighttime, you would know there is no lighting there unless you bring your own. Or at least there wasn't at the, at the time period when I was there and trying to skate it. I was trying to board slide this nine stair without any light. And, uh, you know, as fate would have it, I ended up breaking my head open. I really wish I could find that footage and maybe one day I'll be able to find it on one of those old tapes uh, and I can uh, post it up. I know that the Garland 9 stair meant a lot of things to a lot of people. It is arguably one of the most famous skate spots in the Dallas area. That rail was so perfect and low and everybody loved it. I saw a kickflip crook go down it uh, in person. I saw a kickflip um, uh, lip slide down it. I've seen uh, a fakie ollie switch 50-50, which is insane. Um, if you watch some videos from uh, back in the day, uh, some pro videos, you'll notice that a lot of pro skaters have skated it and they have uh, a lot of tricks on it. I know that the Zero team came through once, although they really hated Garland. Um, all right, side story. So a while back, and I actually have an article somewhere. Cool, so I found the article. It was from Thrasher Magazine sometime in 2005, 2006. I'm not really sure what year it came out because uh, I just have a torn out piece of paper. I wanted to read you just the first two paragraphs. I'm not really into just like reading you guys random stuff, but I thought this was really interesting Dallas history. And the school that they're talking about in these paragraphs is the Garland Nine. I don't feel any way left or right or up or down about the, uh, about the opinions that are made in this personally. I love a lot of the places that they're talking about. And uh, anyways, enough, enough disclaimers, let's get into it. <clears throat> Dallas turned out to be a bummer for numerous reasons. The one spot we knew of is at a school. And when we arrived at 11 p.m., people were still there and they wouldn't let us skate. 
The next day, some calls were made to try and track down something else until it got late enough to hit up that school again. This is what we found. There's a decent skate park in the Dallas suburb. They're talking about Allen's skate park. It's overrun by bikes, rollerblades, and believe it or not, more Razor scooters than all the bikes, rollerblades, and skateboards added together. To top it off, some dude introduced himself as Super Chase was selling weed at twice the market rate. I don't know who Super Chase is, but why'd you do that? Baby Jamie had to get a new pair of shoes, and the only shop in town we could find is owned by a pro rollerblader. They made Jamie buy them at full price since they refused to believe him or the people at eMerica that he was on the team. Despite having an eMerica ad in the current issue of every magazine for sale on the shop's counter. Now, I love Eisenbergs, and as a side note, I'm actually doing the third episode on Eisenbergs because I love that skate park and I love the people that were uh, that used to run it. So, anyways, let's continue. To top it all off, by the time we were en route to the school to skate around midnight, the van was involved in a hit and run. After waiting an hour for the police to no-show, we decided that we were better off doing what we came there for. Everyone vowed to never return to Dallas ever again. Maybe things would have turned out better if someone at the skate park could have pointed us in the direction of Mike Crum's skate shop instead. Now, that last part I, I, I agree with. I love Mike Crum. I love Four Down. I actually did an episode on Four Down, which I will put in the description below if you want to check it out. I'm almost positive that in that article, the Zero Team was a little bit overzealous with their comments because I'm pretty sure that a lot of them have been back to Dallas because people like to make money. So anyways, as you can see, there is a ton of history that is behind Garland 9. If you guys have any stories from Garland 9, I know I was looking up uh, on YouTube different videos uh, titled Garland 9 and people who have skated it and what tricks have gone down. And uh, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, almost every trick you can think of had happened on that stair set. So, oh yeah, I wanted to tell you real quick what has become of the Garland 9. And not only is the handrail itself gone, but the stair set itself is gone. They recently remodeled it, and now it looks like this. So yeah, as you can tell, the Garland 9, not only railless, but also nine stairless. To be exact, three stairless, because it's now a six stair. Ooh, that was some quick math. So if you wanna go check it out now, uh, you can, uh, but of course it's uh, just a six now, and there's no handrail. As I said last time, uh, if you guys have any memories or any clips or anything like that uh, from the Garland 9 from back in the day, I would love to see them. Uh, even if you have new footage from the six stair that it is now, that'd be awesome. I'll post it up on uh, one of my uh, Instagrams, which you can see below right there. And please give me a follow right there. Um, also, please subscribe. Uh, um, uh, we are... Uh, <laughs> I've gained one subscriber since the last video, which is cool, but I really want to get to 500 and then I can get to a thousand and then we can take over the world. No, actually, then I can just produce more content for you guys and have more time to do so. And that would be awesome because I love doing this and I love meeting all you guys through this. So anyways, please comment on this video. Please subscribe. Please like this video. Please tell your friends. And uh, I will see you guys next week for Eisenberg Skate Park, episode three. Peace.